If you live in Canada and you're looking for some basic knowledge about residential windows, then you're in the right spot. I'm Levi the Window Guy, and this video is going to lay out a basic foundation for you. A residential window is made up of several components, so let's get working through it all now. Let's start with the eight most popular styles. First is called a fixed or picture window. This is simply a window that does not open. Next is a casement window. A casement window is on a hinge and opens outward. An awning window also opens to the outside, but the hinge is located at the top. A hung window, sometimes referred to as a tilt window, opens up or down. These come as a single hung that opens at the bottom only, or a double hung that opens at the top and bottom. A sliding window, or slider, opens to the left or right and can also come in a double sliding version where both sides operate. A three light slider is a three piece version of a sliding window. This can come like the picture here, which is referred to as a quarter half quarter, or they can come as three equal pieces. A bay window extends out from the interior and the windows on the ends, called flankers, are typically at a 30 to 45 degree angle. Sometimes these have a seat at the bottom and other times the wall itself extends out, in which case that one is called a walkout bay. A bow window is an appropriate name for this window because it has a bow shape on the interior. It usually consists of four to five pieces that is attached in a curved fashion. Now let's look at some other windows that are not as common. A garden window has a glass roof and sides which requires different drainage than a typical residential house window does. The next is a hopper window. This type of window opens into the home and it's not very common in Canada. The same goes for an in-swing window, which would be quite inefficient in our climate. Next is a Jalhousie window, which you won't find in many homes, but you may find in some older trailer homes. Tilt and turn windows is more of a European style than a Canadian style, and it's not that popular, again, due to efficiency requirements in our weather. A skylight is a style of window that goes on a roof, so you would actually need a roofer or a skylight company to help you with that one. Glass blocks used to be a common thing in the 80s, and these are usually installed by brick masons. Windows with internal blinds are also quite rare style because it's difficult to make efficient windows with this type of technology. Next, let's talk about frames. The frames of the windows are what hold the sashes in place. Windows used to have wood frames and then upgraded to aluminum, but now PVC windows are the standard. They were originally introduced in the 1980s with a three and a quarter inch hollow body frame. Since then, some companies have upgraded to a four and a half inch hollow body frame due to our two by six wall construction. If you look for the gold standard, you would go with a four and a half inch solid body frame. Now, the sash. The sash of the window is part of the window that holds the glass in the framework around the glass to keep it in place. A sash may or may not be removable. Okay. Let's talk about glass. There are three primary types of glass. The first is tempered. You will find this type of glass in patio doors, bus stops, and residential doors. When it breaks, it shatters into tiny little pieces so no one loses a lip. Laminated glass is most commonly used in automobiles. It's because it's a couple pieces of glass with laminated film on either side so that when it breaks, it doesn't actually splinter into pieces. It's simply spider webs inside those laminated films. The final type of glass is called annealed. Annealed is what residential windows are made of because it has excellent light transmission and visibility and performs great when under wind or thermal stress. We're gonna talk about thermal panes now, which are also called sealed units. A thermal pane or sealed unit is made up of four components, glass, gas, spacer, and a sealant. Once built, they get installed in the window sashes. Screens are also a part of a window, and they are sometimes called a mesh. Screens are designed to keep out bugs and wildlife. If a window opens out like a casement window, then the screens are on the inside, and sometimes they are held on with little clips, but newer styles have springs that hold it in place, so there's no pieces that can get lost. If a window opens up and down or side to side, then the screen is on the exterior. No matter where the screen is located, it should keep out all the bugs and critters. Hardware. The hardware on a window can include locking systems, hinges, and any handles. There are various grades of hardware, but the most effective hardware is the kind that you can service if anything goes wrong. 
Some handles can fold in to make room for California shutters, and other would require an aftermarket butterfly style. Energy efficiency is the most important part of any window. Natural Resources Canada runs the Energy Star program, which sets out standards for Canadian windows. There are four measurements that determine energy ratings. The technical terms are U-factor, visual transmittance, solar heat gain coefficient, and air leakage. The basic contributing factors are a bit easier to understand. What gets put between the glass? What coatings are used on the glass? How tightly does the window lock and seal? And does the frame work to keep the air conditioning and the heat where it's supposed to be? Manufacturers then consider all of these factors, create a window, then have it tested. Then an ER or energy rating is assigned to that model. Before 2020, the minimum ER rating was 29, and in 2020 it was increased to 34. Natural Resources Canada is increasing requirements regularly, so the manufacturers get innovative to make more efficient products. I will leave you with a link to Natural Resource Canada's website so that you can find more detailed information about the Energy Star program. Thanks for stopping by, and make sure to give me a like and a subscribe so I can keep sharing.